Hey everyone, Cambo from oldjaguar.com here again. Time for another video on PCM Flash. And what we have here is a little sneak preview of a new module that's about to come out, module 96, which is for the uh, ZF transmission control modules, the so-called Gen 3 uh, ES11 version. Um, these are the, the later FlexRay uh, transmission control modules, let's say. Um, the last couple of years with PCM Flash, we had uh, Module 82, which was covering all of the Gen 1 and Gen 2 8HPs. And we could also do a bit with Module 81 for JLR uh, to do the tuning calibration stuff. But now uh, we have a solution that covers the Gen 3. And Gen 3 is really just BMW and JLR at the moment, for as far as the 8-speed the is concerned but there's also the 9HP 9-speed nine ones as well. Um, so from about 2017, late 2016 from JLR, the 8-speeds started with the, the Gen 3. I'm not exactly sure when that was for BMW, but, uh, but this is covering BMW as well. I don't have a BMW one here, but one of our associates who's a BMW nut, he has thoroughly tested this on the BMW Gen 3. Um, there's two versions of BMW Gen 3. Uh, there's a Bosch TCM and there's also a ZF ES11 one. And this is working with both of them. But uh, yeah, let's have, a, let's have a look here. So the, the new version here, um, we have Flash and EEPROM bootloader for the ZF TCMs. I'll just use the EEPROM here because it's quicker. And you can do an identification. Yeah, and this is identifying that you have communication and the, the various info from ZF there. And then when we want to do a read, here we can pick out the, the different modules. So there's the BMW 8HP Gen 3, the two versions there. Uh, the Chrysler Jeep 9HP, I'll talk about them in a minute. JLR 8HP, Mercedes 8G, I don't have one of those here. Uh, there's Porsche PDK2 and the Vaz Renault AMT. Um, but this one here for now uh, is a JLR 8HP Gen 3. So let's read that quickly. And it's really fast. So the EEPROM just takes a few seconds to read the the flash is about 90 seconds to to read the flash and it's about the same to write the flash as well so that's done we've just read the eprom if i read the flash it would be 90 seconds there so that's much faster than the other options that were out there um and yeah connection just through the socket uh this is with one of our special cables but um you can make your own cables, I guess, or if you want one of these for the Scanmatic, let me know, we can hook you up. And now I'll plug into this JLR 9HP. This is also a Flexray one. This is, uh, yeah, the later Flexray 9HP. And it's the same thing again. We can read and write the EEPROM and flash it's very quick. Basically, it's the same. So a few seconds to to read and write the EEPROM and about 90 seconds to, to read and write the flash. Yep, so that's done. Cool. And what else have we got here? So, yeah, I've got a, a Chrysler 9HP ES 111037. I don't remember which car that was from exactly, but... These are used in Jeeps and Fiat 500X, um, a lot of different FCA branded vehicles. So yeah, um, we can just plug straight into it. I've got my special cables here and we can read and write this straight through the socket here we go, pick out Chrysler Jeep 9HP. We'll read the EEPROM from that one. So this is a much better solution than what the other guys had where you had to open it and probe the board and whatnot. Boom, we've just 
read the EEPROM, we can write that into another one straight away. So very nice. And it's it's working with the 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 Land Rover 9 HPs as well. Um, but we could already do this with module 81 anyway. But uh, these are included in the new module 96. So yeah, uh, Gen 3 8 HP from JLR and BMW. Um, 9 HP Gen 3 from JLR and the other 9 HPs like from Chrysler here. Really quick and easy through the socket. Um, there are some other 9 HPs too, like there's one from the Mercedes Sprinter that has a 9 HP 48. And there's Honda, Acura. We don't really have them here in Australia, but uh, it will be possible to, to do those too. Um, who else has a 9 HP? Oh, the new Nissan Pathfinder and the Infinity something or other. Uh, they have a, a, a 9 HP too, but they're still quite new. Eventually we'll get around to, to doing them. But uh, this is like a universal bootloader now for all of these ZF ES11 TCMs. Um, oh, and the Porsche. So I've got a Porsche PDK. Yeah, here we go. Uh, Porsche PDK2. So this one's out of a Panamera, but there's a similar version used in some 911s as well. And again, it's just done through the socket. Let's try my one-handed cable trick here. Click, done. So no need to open the Porsche ones. I know the other solution on the market, you had to open it and probe it and whatnot. But here now with the, the Porsche, it's just done through the socket. So let's have a look here. We'll pick out Porsche, uh, 8DT, PDK2, yep. Let's read the EEPROM from that one. Also very fast, boom, done. And the writing of the flash is about the same too. It's about 90 seconds, perhaps a little bit longer. But we're talking about a couple of minutes here to do the job, so, and without opening it. So you can leave it factory sealed. So yeah, we've been waiting a long time for this new module 96. Um, there's been a big demand for it. Nobody else had a solution for the Jaguar Land Rover 8HP and the BMW Gen 3 8HP was you know, a little difficult, but now there's a excellent tested solution here. So we're really happy. We can't wait to use it. I gotta say a big thanks to all the crew that made this happen. Uh, to Oleg, number one, of course, huge job on his part to get this through. Uh, Nick from our team, he helped a lot. Uh, Xander, who helped with the BMW stuff, and there's been a, a lot of other people in the background as well who, who helped us out here. Um, really pleased with this new capability, can't wait. So that's the video for today. Um, module 96 will be out in the next couple of days. You can order it uh, once it's released and get to work on these ZF transmission control modules. All right, we'll talk soon. Cheers.